<coughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey, my squad. Um, let's check to make sure the notification went out. And that the sound is working. Notification went out. Just working. And the sound is working. Wow. Sorry about that. I don't know why. I was coughing like that. Give me one second, everybody. I need to take care of something on my end. Uh, sorry. You never know me. I just can't pick the one I want. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's it. I hope everybody is having a good day. Me too. Take off, please. Thank you. I am so sorry, guys. It's just technical difficulties with things. Um, sorry, but okay, so I have a new camera set up. Um, I don't know if anybody can tell. So now I can actually bring you in a lot closer to what I'm doing. So I'll be working this area, finishing this area over right here. Oh, I still get the camera. And, and, you know, which way to go mixed up. But, um, so this is my Black History Month uh, picture. So we are going to, I may have to put this on my stand. I may have, because I can't see that angle too well. Um, so let me grab my tray. And we shall that up here. But
go. It's just one of them days, guys. One of them days. So we're working this little area right here, right now. Um, but yeah, it's just one of the days. It's just one of them days, I swear. All right, so let's get started with, um, we'll just start off with the little teardrop thingy. Hopefully, my static is gone. I've been having issues with that again, but um, also, you know, I got the dryer sheets now um, that seem to be helping. Um... It's been a time in the land with, with uh, static. Sorry if I seem not myself. It's just... It's just... I hate this time, this month. I, I, I really do. I hate February. Um... <laughs> you can just put it out there. I hate Valentine's Day. Um, I really despise it. Um, yeah. So much has happened to me on or around Valentine's Day that I could give three shits about the holiday. Um, I know that sounds mean. I know that sounds ignorant and cruel, but Valentine's Day, Cupid can take a little fucking hike with his damn diaper and arrows. Just saying. <laughs> and I'll probably get some flack about that, but I mean, yeah, I'll do, you know, like, I love gnomes, so, you know, the gnome picture I'm doing, it's not just because it's a Valentine's Day picture, but um, I just like gnomes, so, but there are other low-key reasons I hate Valentine's Day, and Yeah. But anyway, I digress and go off into one of those tangents, but you know. I'm telling you. It's one of those days. Um, I almost didn't go live today. Just because of my mindset right now. Um, but I was like, no, I need to do a live.
I need to go live. If not, I'll just sit and go all day long and shit. But yeah. Valentine's Day, it's actual day. You can kiss my ass. Excuse me a minute. Take care of something. I'm sorry, I had to. I like to cyberpunk. Sorry, I was taking care of a message. But, so, you know, hopefully I will have a couple more packages soon. Um, I'm still waiting on one from one day savings i'll have the, uh, the first video up in sometime soon um i still have to finish editing that and then um i may have a couple other videos i'm not sure i think i had a video come out today i am not 100 percent freaking sure um, I believe I set a video to come out today. Um, so if it did, it dropped at two uh, twelve fifteen uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, I can't remember. I'm telling you guys, my mind is neither here nor there anymore. Um, so. Um, one of them situations, I guess. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I got hiccups. I don't know why I got hiccups. It's not a whole lot of the vibes in this section, so I'm not pouring this out. Same thing with the sixes. Okay, where did my light go? The sun took my light away. Or the clouds took the light away. Alexa, light's on. Okay, and have an amazing afternoon. Really, bitch? Did she just tell me have an amazing afternoon? I swear. Nothing will be amazing about my afternoon. But anyway, I digress. That's a whole nother subject.
They actually may. Now they got this new camera on. I may start doing t um, some TikTok videos where I am dying of pain. I don't know. I really don't know. It is what it is. So, you know. Actually, just realized that works good. I can actually rest my tray on the lip of the table. Hey, Crafty Rabbit! Yeah, I know, right? Like, when did she start that stuff? Uh, she never used to say that. Me and her get in arguments all the time, though. Because <laughs> she will go off. I mean, I don't know if she... Because she sits underneath of my computer monitor um, my de for my desktop. And the speaker I use, it, tall speaker, it's behind my monitor. So I don't know if she hears things when I stream video, um, from my, my TV app on my uh, desktop. It sounds similar to her freaking name. <clears throat> and then she goes off. And I have to scream and holler and yell at her to shut up. And half the time she don't want to listen. Like. We came home the other day, and I guess the TV had set her off, and she was blaring music when we came in. I could not get her to shut up. The uh, I went on my app. My app would not control her. I don't know how we wound up figuring out how to get her to shut up, because I can't get to her plug um, to unplug her um, the way I got her plug set up, so... Gee, I was like, what the heck? Yeah, uh, that's too much work for me to rename her. Because then I got to remember what I rename her. Uh, yeah, we only got the one in the house, thank God, because, God, if we had more than one, I think I'd go crazy. I, I got it. Well, I didn't even have to pay but nine cents for mine because I got, um, it was an app I was using. Um, and it, was it serious? Was it serious XM radio? It might have been when I was using, still using serious XM radio. Um, and they had a deal that, if you subscribe to that for, I believe it was three months for a certain price, um, which you got a discount price, and uh, you got the Echo Dot for uh, nine cents. So,
But I mostly use, I mean, I do ask her things, but <clears throat> I mostly use her to listen to my local radio station. Which, my local radio station, though, is a worldwide radio station now. So, anybody could listen to it anywhere in the whole wide world. It's uh, Bay Country 97.9 on TuneIn. Um, I can't remember. We're offhand right now. I can't remember what the um, uh, worldwide radio station website is. But it's pretty cool uh, radio station. It's country music. Um, so I'm a country girl. Who's oh, following me right here? So I gotta have my country music. I just wish that YouTube would allow us to play stuff like that. So other than their music, but you know, if we do that, then we get can get copyright claims, which means um, that person can take all of our ad revenue or some of our ad revenue or whatever. Yeah, I just used the Double Helix music and the music that's in the stream yard um, right here on streams. If I wanted to put music in the background, stream yards offers um, some different ones. Plus, you can download your own. The only one I have downloaded, like I say, of my own is Double Helix, which is from the YouTube audio library. So it's copyright free music. So, but I probably could use could um, use some of the ones from my Wondershare from Mora because they're copyright free music too. So But it is what it is. Sorry, sorry about this seem weird. Uh, I'm just having a crappy mind day. My mind is like, no, we don't want you to do what you want to do. It's one of them take days. But anyway. So, yeah. So, I've had mine for probably two or three, almost three years now. Uh, I think, no. Yeah, three years now. Um, I think mine's a fourth gen, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I want to upgrade and get the video, the one that's the video screen. Um, I really would like to have that one. Uh, but that's not in my budget right now. Um, so, I mean, around the Cyber Monday, Black Friday, all that, I'll look and see if there's any deals. Um, but I'd like to actually have the video, the video screen of the Echo. I'd say that would be pretty cool. Be an upgrade from her. Because <laughs> with that one, uh, the video screen one, you can actually, um, there are like games um, and stuff that you can play on it. Which I think are pretty cool. And if I'm not mistaken, you can have your pictures go across that one as well. So you can actually use it like a photo album too. I don't know. I gotta do some more research into it. Oh great! It's the stupid truck that don't know how to make the turn. God, I hate that. We, we like I say, I don't. For those of you who don't know, I, we have a paintbrush factory beside our house and kind of goes behind our house. 
Well, they're tur either that or they're they're backed up in there, and he he hits, he can't get in yet. Oh no, he's that one that has to because he can't. He's got that wide trailer. It's not that he can't make the turn. He has to get lined up in. Okay, never mind. I thought it was the stupid guy that can't make the turn. Um. Hey, Sam. Sorry, I was just ranting about the stupid truck going into the um, paintbrush factory. <laughs> uh, we have one. He just can uh, freaking make the goddamn turn, and I'm waiting for the day he takes out my mailbox, the um, business across the street's mailbox, and everything, you know. This, this guy, he comes in, he has a wider trailer than most of the trailers that go in there. So he has to uh, line himself up with the driveway, back up, and wait for traffic to go um, be clear so he can make a really wide turn to get, to get in there. I swear to God, people. I go live, and I have that stupid guy keep... How did he find me on Facebook under another name? Oh. Uh, the uh, one for your event, Sam. Um, the one with Barack Obama. Um, Nelson Mandela. I'm almost um, finished part of Nelson Mandela right now. I'm kind of low-key thinking this is going to be very pixelated um, just from the looks of it um, I don't know because the camera's pretty close so I don't know I don't know it's um, I'm gonna finish it but working it but I, I I'm kind of, they're not getting, kind of not getting a good, might not get a good review from me. Um, yeah. I don't know, because I, I've done them before where I thought they were pixelated and they wind up coming out okay, so I don't know. It's one of them, it's one of them type of my mind is racing 50 million directions. And, yeah. I don't know. Why'd I dump all of them in there for this? I don't even have that many discolor in that section, and I just dumped the whole tray. Oh, did you? Cool. I bet you she turned out pretty. So, uh, what you go back to working on? Oh, the midnight, your midnight laundromat. Okay. Yeah, she's going to be really pretty, I think, when you get her done. I love that, that painting. Yeah, the, fa the fact that you put up on your Facebook, I knew that he had won um, in the Olympics, but I did not realize he had won that many gold medals. Or that many medals, you know. I was that, you know, that was a fact. I really, I didn't know about him. I 
I'd like to be able to eventually get to um, Dorchester County here, um, where I'm at. Uh, that's where they built the uh, Harriet Tubman Museum. Um, I'd love to go see that. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm one that I love to read the interesting facts like that. Um, of just anything in general. Um, I always have been, I'll, I'll do that. Um, from time to time I'll go on and I'll just, I'll just type something random into the search box and just, you know, random facts about whatever, and just go and read the random facts I love, love doing stuff like that. Because sometimes you find out things that you, you know, you may have known about some things about uh, some things, but then you'll find facts that you, you didn't even know or facts that were never taught in school that should have been taught in school. You know, that's what gets me is the, the way that Pete, people teach history nowadays um you know they leave certain facts out of history uh classes and i think that's wrong I mean, because we got good and bad facts, you know, in all history, but they want, they don't want to teach everything. And I think everything should be taught. I have this song stuck in my head and I cannot get it out. But uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say much about the, the, the lyrics because, God, I may get a copyright claim put on me. But it's a song by Jelly Roll called Son of a Sinner. And then I also have um, his one, Save Me, stuck in my head. And I don't know why I've got that one stuck in my head. <sighs> it's just one of them. Type of days, I guess. Anywho, I just hope my packages I still got coming come soon because I need to. I want to film some more content. Oh my god, letter H. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm actually low key think he needs to learn great. Right, anywho. So other than waiting on packages, I don't have anything else going on. Just that I'm working this painting. Um where did I go? Where the heck? I know I just dropped a drill on this paint. Oh, there it is. So it's I know I just dropped a drill on that painting. Sorry, on that release paper. I couldn't find it. Um, I just got okay. Why aren't you coming up? There we go. This painting I'm working on, I'm working on. Uh, John Wayne for Ticket to Ride. I'm working on the fire flag for Donna Grandma Show Me Your Flag. And I'm working on the gnomes for Valentine, but as Valentine's Day gets freaking closer, I am really starting to hate the holiday again. Um, nah, I guess it's just because it's bringing up bad memories of stuff, but I just got to push through and deal with it, I guess. It's bringing up, yeah. So, yeah, the Valentine's Day, I may not be around, y'all. I may not be on, on social media at all. Um, and that's just because yeah, it's just not, not a good day for me. Um, Some stuff happened that shouldn't have happened, but it did. And it's kind of scarred me for my holiday. Jeez, people are pissed and left and right on my freaking Facebook. What the hell is going on? Um. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, oh no, that's not the way I wanted to. Oh, I just said it to me. Never mind. I wanted it to remind me on my phone, not in the email.
Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Something. Oh, it's about the fire hydrant crap. Okay. What the heck? People were posting left and right about crap, something not right in my town. And all it is is it, people are mad because they're flushing the fire hydrant. Oh, come on, people. It has to be done. Like, okay. I thought the whole world was breaking loose or something. I mean, because we they had a bomb threat at one of our Walmarts uh, yesterday. Like, who calls a bomb threat into Walmart? I'm like, Really, people? I was like, yeah, okay. But it is what it is. I'm telling you, this world is crazy here lately. Stuff that's going on. I'm just, I, I, it was fun. I couldn't, couldn't get over that. I'm like, who calls a bomb threat into a Walmart? That's as bad as, uh, God, I can't remember what school year it was. I I think it was my first year of high school. So that would have been my eighth grade, no, ninth grade year. Or no, yeah, eighth grade year, sorry. Um, and we have an island um, that's, you know, 15 minute boat ride off of my town. Um, so those kids, once they get into, uh, I believe it was fifth, sixth, fifth to twelfth grade, I believe, or it might have been sixth to, or something to twelve. I can't remember back then because it's changed now. Um, the younger kids actually uh, stay over on the island um, up to I believe uh, seventh and eight, or eighth grade. I can't remember. But um, I guess they didn't want to go to school. The one boy didn't want to go to school that day. So he called in, you know, they were planning to call a bomb threat in. Well, these dummies only call information asking for the number to 911. Together, if you put the, the two of them's brains together, neither one of them were going to make a helicopter or a hummingbird fly. I swear, when the one's dad came over from the island to get him, I thought Mr. Otis Ray was going to rip that door off of that office. I hadn't been in the office helping the secretary do something at the time. I thought Mr. Otis Ray was going to rip that door off. He did nothing but grabbed his son and told him there's a cop car waiting for you outside. He made him sit in jail for four days. <laughs> they were seniors, you know, so technically, truthfully, they could have been charged as an adult because if I'm not mistaken... Uh, God, Lance was probably getting ready to turn 19, and Otis Ray's son was 17, going on 18. Yeah, it was a time in the land. But we got to free, got to go home for the day. I mean, but you know. Like, how, how stupid are you? And this was back when there was payphones. Okay, so this tells you how long ago that was. 
there were still pay phones, pay phones, <laughs> you know. So that's it was in the car. That would have been. I graduated in ninety six. So it had it been like ninety 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 one ish. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably like in the ni early 90s. Real early 90s. But yeah. I remember that day. I, I remember that day so well. Mr. Ur oh, God. I thought Mr. Otis Ray was going to rip that door off. But. Hold on a minute, y'all. Anyway, sorry. I had to rant about something to mom. <sighs> but anyway. But it is what it is. The memories that you remember, though, are so freaking hilarious sometimes. You know, it, it, it's funny how you remember certain things and then other things you don't remember them until, you know, something, something triggers that memory. Because there are memories that I don't remember on an everyday basis, but certain things can trigger and that memory pops back up. Yeah, I am so low key hating the way they rendered this. You can't even tell that's a person. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'll finish it off, but you can't even tell that's a person. I'm kind of not happy now. I gotta look back and see exactly how much I spent on this. Because, yeah. But anyway, it's it is what it is.
I swear. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't have. I don't really have much to say. I don't. I don't know. I just. It's just one of those. One of those days, I guess. Um, I don't have any topics that are popping out in my head to talk about. <laughs> Mom got jury duty, and uh, she's got to go next month. I'm like, yeah, they can give me jury duty all they want. I ain't going. I will go to jail for not going. I am not doing jury duty. Oh, you can put my ass in jail. <clears throat> I'll gladly sit in jail for a couple of days for not doing jury duty. Ooh, I ain't doing that crap. That's on you, I mean, but I don't know. We'll have to figure that all out. But I just think it's ridiculous that you won't know until the night before if you even have to go. But that was something personal that actually happened to her herself. So there's a difference. There's a difference on it being the victim or the actual. Yeah, we all know this one, but we won't go there. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, you can do that. I mean, see what the hell they say. I mean, just, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's a different story if we're just going up there for the for one day. I mean, come on, but yeah, I know, and that's the the stupid part. But anyway, our judicial system in this damn county, state, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's fucked up. Believe me. Yeah, I just tell them you got looking at your finances and it's just not going to work. I mean, you're not going to have a way. I tell them you got you were looking at your finances to plan that out for just, just in case you have to go, you know, every day or whatever. 
and it's not going to work. There's no way. With your other bills and and everything, you're not going to have the money. I don't even think they could do that anymore. Mom, but you got to think that was all before the, all the 9-11 stuff. So, so, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Jim and Eleanor's farm. No. That was when you, it was right before. Because I, 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 uh, I stayed home to help him that day. Well, I can understand, though. Yeah. But then again, you never know with her because it's us. She, you know, she loves us to death. But I would, I wouldn't do that to her. I wouldn't, you know. Some people would take advantage of that with her, but not, you know, not me. Yeah, because she takes Kim to work and then her boo, or her boo and then Kim. Um, then she comes back and she picks Miss Kathy up, takes Miss Kathy to I, where she needs to go. That woman's on the go all day long. <laughs> I think she, Miss Kathy works to, um, uh, Johnny Sweets. But she lives in Mar Miss Kathy lives in Marion, so Yeah, I'm seriously leaving a not so good review about this on their website. I can already tell this rendering is okay. But uh, I'm gonna go with it. No, because I think she's trying to figure out how to tell you to get out of it. <sighs> I, I, I seriously would tell him because it's ridiculous. Even for you, it's just you alone to go is going to be expensive. And the problem with that is, is you knowing where to get off at. Because they're not going to stop you right by the courthouse. So you're either going to have to get off at the post office or the, um, yeah, and walk, or where they turn. Oh, you're going to have to get one of the early buses anyway. Um, it's no big deal. That's not the problem. The timing's not the problem. I mean, I could get, you get, you know, that's not the problem. The issue is you not knowing which one to get off. I mean, 
Because you're either going to have to get off the, the post office and walk, or you're going to have to get off up by the firehouse where they turn to go down to go to the college and walk from there. I'm just saying. But, you know... It's the whole point that you don't like going up by yourself. I mean, going up and then be, you being able to remember how to get back to, you know, to catch a bus. See, that's the other problem <laughs> is what fucking time are they going to let you out? And are you going to be able to get a bus home? Or are you going to be waiting till that almost 7 o'clock bus? See, that's the other problem because, you know, you won't have, a, you won't have nobody to, to let you know when the next bus is coming. But it's the whole point of... They don't even give you a voucher for, you know, the ones who have to come up on bus. You think they would say, hey, here's some vouchers. And, if you know, when I go to Sturgis, they don't give you that many. You know, they only give you, I think, enough. I think it's enough for four or five days or something like that. Or you, that's what it used to be. Uh, it's crazy. It is freaking crazy. even the point the point is having the money ahead of time to be able to get up there I, I, I seriously, I mean, I'd do it maybe tomorrow because I don't know. It, I'm saying where it's, it's after two today. I'd call tomorrow and tell them that you were sitting figuring out your finances and and that's just, that's your, uh, mostly your bills. Let alone food. <laughs> well, you have to have the money to buy the food to pack the lunch, you, you know. It's ridiculous. I'm serious. Um, like, not everybody can afford to just hop every day and go, or not knowing if you get to hop every day and go. I mean, it'd be different. It'd be different if we, if I had my ID. 
it couldn't of course you got your you know yours and we could get up there to um uh the bus terminal and we could get uh you know the pet where you put the money on the pad the pass every, every you know for the month now that would be a different story because then all you gotta do is show that and you could just get on and go you know you don't have to worry about having any but we got to be able to get a day where Gigi could take us to get for me to get my ID. But I got to schedule an appointment ahead of time. But I need to get up with, I guess, somebody up there to find out what I need to do to get my birth certificate. Or we have to figure that out or order that, get that order. So I have that um, so I can go get my ID. You know what I mean? But, not, you know, you got to make an appointment to even go in motor vehicles anymore. I'm like, you can't just walk in anymore. Well, it's not that you won't have it to, I mean, you just won't be able, you could do maybe what, like, a couple, you know, but you won't have enough to get you through the whole month. I mean, without cutting yourself short. Well, even, yeah, that's what I'm saying. After all your bills, I'm saying after all, the bills, I mean, the bills would be covered. That's no matter what. Um, but what you have afterwards out of both checks it, you know, it, you'd be cutting yourself short for other stuff that you need. Your medicines and all that stuff. Yeah, it has come out, yeah. Because, I mean, well, see, the thing is, I don't know electric, so I can't factor electric into the bill yet. Yeah, because we won't get that until later on in the month. He'll send us that. But, I mean, we got the gas bill, too, you know, which we knew we were going to have anyway. It's no big deal. It's not like that. We won't. <sighs> I'd say no more than 180 No, we already did the water. Water bill was this month. We've already paid. Yeah, so we won't have that for another three months. Well, we have gas bill, remember, because they just filled it up. But we shouldn't have to worry about another one of those till next year. Or later um, ne next year. Jesus Christmas. Till, you know... Phones and our internet. I mean, you know, actually, if our phones were not to work, were weren't working, I there's a way to get nine one one through through the internet. It's called you message someone in your town and tell them what the hell is going on, and then. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not that she couldn't take you maybe like in the morning if she's going to take Gigi, I mean, Maya to school. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, and then you just right, it could get a bus home in the afternoon. But it's still the thing. You, her, you don't know her schedule, or I don't know. I don't know what her schedule is this this semester. I don't know if it's the same as last semester or not.
Because he's trying to be telling you how to get out of it, but you know, I don't think that would have worked because, see, that was with Junior that she was the victim in that situation. So, yeah. So they were the you know they were pretty much they look at them as um yeah, but I mean. That's what I would do. I, I'd call tomorrow and tell them you were, you know, going over your fight, you know, and, and it's, there's no way you're going to be, with all your bills, there's no way you're going to be able to pull the money. The only way it is is if they come if they would mail you some uh, bus vouchers, then we could plan that. But they probably would only mail you four or five. You know, I mean, I know that four or five that would help, but it still that still still leaves a hefty hefty amount. You know, but. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you'll have to, you know, figure it. I don't know. We'll have to, you'll have to just call and see what they say, and um, we'll have to go from there, I guess. But, I mean, I don't think you'll get anybody about it today. Mom, but that was, yeah, I mean, yeah. And the thing is, that was like all before all the 9 11 and all the other. No, I'd say before all the other terrorism stuff and everything. So now they're a little bit more. Hey, Alex. Um, thank you. Um,. Yeah, it's, I've been monetized since around the 17th of January. Um, yeah, because, I mean, cops are, I mean, well, I'm just saying you're going to have to call and figure it out and see what they say and then go from there. You do realize it's still going to be over a hundred and some, over almost a hundred, I think almost a hundred sixty dollars just for you. Or a hundred, hundred and thirty, hundred and, so I don't know. I have to recalculate it out. I believe half of the 276, I believe it was 130. And that's I, I, Mom, listen to me. I'm telling you what it is. And that's still a hefty freaking amount. Just for one person. Shoot. Oh, thank you, Alex. Yeah, I did, Alex. I really did. I know, Mom. I know. It's a ripoff, basically. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem. Not knowing it'd be a different story knowing you were going to be every day. It, but the not knowing before, yeah. It is what it is. 
Yeah, you have to call them tomorrow, I guess, to find out. Because I don't think, I don't, it's after 2 o'clock, so I don't know if anybody's in the, that department or whatever this time of the day or whatever. Oh, I know, I know. I'm just saying. Not only that, there's been some other cases. There's been other, other cases with people we know, too, that it should have went a different way, and it didn't. telling you they ever send it to me they can put my ass in jail for a couple days because i am not i am not serving jury duty for this county i'm sorry i'm telling you they'd ha they'd be holding me in contempt of court because i'd be telling that judge where he could fucking go yeah See, because with Tammy, Stevie is Stevie with his work now. You know his 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 at school. You know his his uh work study or whatever it is. Then he's got his drive time. Then my her getting Maya back and forth to school. You know, so her schedule. You know, she never know. I'm shocked she. I'm shocked she don't. She's a. She's not like well, a, like a rubber band and. <laughs> oh, Mr. Man, Mr. Man, Mr. Man. <laughs> but it's something that he he's not he's not scared or afraid to do either. And he's not he's not ashamed to do either. That's one thing about that boy. But it, you know, it is what it is, so yeah. I have a feeling I am writing I am leaving a, a scathing um review on this painting. I'm gonna finish it out, but you can't even tell that's a person. You can't even tell that's a face. Or at least I can't. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you all can tell in the camera or not, but yeah. me right now, that just looks like a bunch of blobby color. Even when I'm back from it, I'm not really seeing it either right now. So I don't know. But I am not happy with the rendering. I mean, and I thought I was going to have issues with the double-sided adhesive, though. But that's not, you know, no. My my issue is the rendering. I may have to walk away from this for a little bit, but I don't know. Um, give me a second, y'all. Yeah, hold on, Alex. I'll I'll turn the. What you're seeing is you're seeing it through the, uh, the light pad was shining through the through it. So, um, but yeah, this is supposed to be his face right here. Huh? 
Oh, yeah, true. Plus, I need to... Can I grab a pack of AA batteries at least? Because I found my Valentine's gift from you and I was... I, that was it? I have to show you guys what my... Oh, let me see if I can find him. Hold on. My... I, I have a weakness for stuffed animals, y'all. Um, I love my stuffies. <sighs> and... Oh, he's gonna green screen out. Oh. Hold on. Oh, give me a second, guys. Let me turn my green screen off a minute. Um, there we go. Mom got me this for Valentine's Day. It is a stuffed Triceratops. Um, but I use, I, I use him like a pillow. Um, he's got a cute little heart on his butt. I can show you. In the camera. He's got a cute little heart on his butt. But I was a toss up between this and the unicorn. And uh, I went with the triceratops. So but he's just nice he's nice and soft. He works like a pillow. So that's why my cat don't like him though. No. <laughs> my cat does not like him at all. Um, she is giving me some evil looks right now. Um, but yeah. So, but that's what mom got me for, for Valentine's Day. Um, instead of candy, I, you know, I got that. She got her some, um, a, a wall, ha a door hanger for her door. And then she got her some beautiful, um, which is a hyacinth tulip and the mini daffodils. They've done bloomed out, but she'll have the bulbs for next year. So, yeah, she, when she plants them, uh, once the when the weather gets a little bit better, um, she'll have them for next year. So, so yeah. So this is well. I guess you okay. Looking in the camera, I can now see his face. But if you are close up, see what I mean? Let's see. See how I mean? If you're close up, that's what I'm seeing right now. That's how I'm seeing it. Um, but farther back, I can actually see the detail on his face now. Okay, so I'm just going to finish rent working this out. Well, I need you to see what's in the... I didn't need to know that woman. Um, I'm on live. You know that, right? Oh, God. I swear. I swear, people. I swear. But, um, so I'm going to finish working it and, you know, rendering, doing the rendering and, or the painting and see how it goes from there. But yeah, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm just kind of low key. Still not happy with it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So. I mean I love the image I do, I really love the image so I really want this to to come out and look good um, when you're up like it, it's just when you're up close it's just strange uh, let me see. Yeah, so when I pull the camera away from it, it looks good. It's just... I can't, you know. But see, I have a new camera set up too, Alex. So, um, 
I, I got a new camera arm. It was sent to me by an anonymous viewer. Whoever that anonymous viewer is, thank you very much. Um, so I have a new camera, a new arm for my camera, so I can actually, um, I have more room on my desk now, which is, well, semi good thing for me, uh, cause I'll figure out how to not have the room that I want on my desk. Uh, but, um, it now allows me to get a better a better camera view. <laughs> Zoe is so mad at me right now. <laughs> I, um, let's see. I don't know if I can show you guys. There we go. She does not like the fact that Look at that tail. She don't like the fact that that thing is laying on her pillow. <laughs> or leave it out for tomorrow. Um, it is for Black History Month. Uh, Alex, it is a picture of Barack Obama, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and um, Nelson Mandela, and that's who I'm working on right now is Nelson Mandela. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that you could see. Um, you have Nelson Mandela, Barack Obama, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X, and they're all sitting there together. I guess I'm just picky nowadays, though, because I'm getting um, more educated with um, the way uh, paintings should look. Um, and then again, I guess I'm just wanting this to be... I know it's not going to be 100% to the actual canvas picture that... Um, before it was rendered, uh, the original picture, um, you know, and I know that this picture was, you know, pretty much computer generated because, um, you know, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, you know, they, they were gone way before uh, Barack Obama was around. Uh, or, you know, adult, at least. Um, you know, I mean, him and Nelson Mandela may have met, but I don't think he ever met Malcolm X, or, uh, of course, I know he, you know, he didn't meet Martin, Martin Luther King. Yeah, yeah, um, I do too, Alex. Um, history and science uh, were my favorite classes in school. Um, any type of history, actually. Because uh, our, our school systems here, we had several different, um, depending on what grade level you were in, uh, you took a certain, uh, in, in, well, when you got to high school. Um, high school level, we took, um, our first year of high school was, uh, civics. Um, second year was world history. So our 10th, our ninth grade year was world history. Um, I think we had world history two years in a row, actually. I think we had that both um, both our, our ninth and 10th, our 10th, no, yeah, ninth and 10th grade year. And then 11th and 12th, uh, we had contemporary issues. So, 
I loved contemporary issues because we used to have, we got the um, Newsweek, was it Newsweek? Or the time. It was one of those, those um, news magazines um, that was out in those years, you know, and we had to do a uh, paper every uh, week out of the, um, out, uh, out of a news article in the book, in the magazine. Um, and I always loved, 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 you know, um, doing the research um, for that. Um, it was really, really, really cool. I guess now that I sit back, like I say, I can see it now. So I'm, it's just, I don't know. I guess I mean, some of the paintings I've done here lately, I could see the rendering uh, right away. Oh, the Weekly Reader. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah. I loved getting the weekly reader in school. We got that all the way up until, God, I want to say fifth or sixth grade. I think we got that all the way up to like fifth or sixth grade and in our school systems here. Um, but I loved, and then we'd get the, 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 um, you'd get the weekly reader and then you'd also get the one for the books. Where you, you know, your parents could order you the books and stuff. Um, we'd get them like once or twice a month. And my mom and dad would always try to find a way to get me and my sister something out of there. Um, so I wish I still had a lot of those books. And I can't remember what we did with those books. Um, but yeah, that's, you know. Schools really don't do that anymore. You know, they don't have that type of stuff anymore. Yeah, the Scholastic Book Club. Yeah, yeah. And then we'd have book fairs at school. Oh, I loved book fairs. Because most of the time, my mom and dad would actually come out to the school so they could take our stuff home. Because at our book fairs, you could buy more. They had more than just books. So sometimes there was, um, like, uh, games or... Um, like crafts or whatever you could buy. So that was pretty cool too. And I actually loved doing science fair projects when I was in school. They don't even do the science fair anymore. Um, I meet between me and my sister. We won tons of science fair awards. Um, I did one one time about erosion um, there was the heart. My dad actually built a heart out of plywood and all that. And the, with, I mean, it was anatomically correct. And we had the, what was it? Red and blue marbles, I believe, that would go through the different chambers and everything. And um, I think my sister did one on power one time. Um, oh God, there was, so, I, I know I did one about, um, my, um, uh, clam bivalves, you know, the bivalves, the clams and mussels and oysters and all that, how they filter the water and stuff, you know, it was, but they don't, they don't do that in schools anymore. Um, and I think, I think it's sad because, you know, the way that some schools now are, it's, it's like, I know the tech, not the, 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 you know, they're teaching a lot of technological stuff these days, but still, um, you need to teach hands on stuff as well. I mean, those, the science fair was fun. I mean, getting your hands, I don't even think they really do dissecting in school in science classes anymore. Um, I loved dissecting the, anim the animals in science class. So. 
you know, they don't even really go on, on, on the scientific field trips. Hey, Sparkles, what's up? You know, we used to have a, um, a place that, I mean, that island got sold, but there's plenty of other ones they could go to and do the same thing, but, um, they used to take field trips, you know, to these places and actually do hands-on science stuff, and, yeah, the schools don't even really allow that anymore. I don't even think they take trips to the Smithsonian's anymore, and I used to love those trips. Oh, my God. I looked forward to going to the Smithsonian or the aquarium, um, or more aquarium, places like that. Um, they don't even do those type of trips anymore. It's, it's crazy. Um, I mean, they want kids to learn, but they'd rather, I mean, you're pushing them to, you know, they, they get a laptop at school now and, I mean, that's how they do most of their work is on the laptop. I don't even think they really have do, do much work on paper other than in elementary school now. Um, and even the elementary school kids get a tablet. Um, they get a little tablet um, to do, do uh, work at home and stuff on. I'm like, what happened to the old-fashioned, you know, writing it out by hand? You know, because that, now right there. That's taking handwriting out of school. The only trip that I didn't like, Alex. Okay, when they were, when I got into, what was it? Um, I was first grade when we moved down here. And the very first trip that I, very first school trip I went on. Was to the prison they were they, when they were building it when they were building the prison, not far from my house. Okay, that's where they took us on a field trip to see it being built. They was about learning about construction workers and stuff. Okay, I think I was. It probably took them. I think I was fifth grade when they got that that prison finished and. We got to tour it after it was built. You know, no prisoners in there at that time. So we got to see the jail cells and all that stuff. I got to probably 7th or 8th grade. And they actually took us to the prison to meet prisoners. But it was part of what was called the D.A.R.E. program. So um, we met people that were in there because of drug drug charges and all that. I'm like, oh, God. I did not, I was fine the first two trips, but when we actually got to go to meet prisoners that were in there, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to be in there. You know, I did not want to be in there. I tried to get out of that trip, but, you know, I couldn't stay home from school, so I had to go. Um, I did not want to go. <laughs> I, uh, but it was something. So that's the only trip I've ever hated in school was that one. But my there's a group of there's a group of kids out of my class, my my graduating class. We're the only ones that got to do that trip. They got to go when it was being built. They got to go when it was finished and got to go once. Um you know, with prisoners in it. Um, since then they've, I don't think they've done any, the D.A.R.E. program has done, um, done any, any visits there, so. But yeah, I did not want to do that trip, but they made me. Uh, but it was only because I was part of the D.A.R.E. program that year, so we had we had to go because it was also part of a grade for a report that we had to write. So I couldn't, you know, but it was what it was.
they still have it around here, but I think it got um, the program's got a different name, but it's it, it's based on the Dare program itself. Um, but I think they've changed it because now um, they've added about you know suicide prevention and opioid overdoses and all that into the program. To, you know, teaching kids about you know how to how to uh, handle things like that if you know they um, they encounter someone you know that might be suicidal or whatever and things like that. But it's still based off of the same premises of the Dare program. Yeah, I was a member of that for years. Um, I think um, they once we got to eleventh or twelfth grade, um, we graduated out of the program. I see. Precious will be okay. She is a mess. <laughs> Mom and me are getting ready to go to the store here in a little while, and the cat knows something's up. And she does not like when we leave her. Mom left just to walk down the street all of maybe 10, not even 10 minutes down the road to go to get her medicine at the pharmacy one day. And this cat cried. This cat sat at the door and meowed and cried for her mommy. Well, when are you going to need that? Okay. You can't call it in yet anyway, as we're saying. Because I was going to say, if you could call, go ahead and call it. I don't know if you'd be able to pick it. Oh, I didn't know if you could go ahead and call it in or not. I was saying since we'd be going out that way. Oh, okay. So you probably can't call it into a win what next week sometime. Uh, yeah, but you got to think though, Alex, back when we were, when D.A.R.E. first came out on the, you know, in the schools and stuff, you really didn't hear, goes the mail, I don't know if she stopped, um, you really didn't hear of all of that, you know, um, You didn't hear about a lot of, you know, young su teen suicides or young kids, you know, being, you know, it was more the bullying and the drugs and, um, and everything. Um, but now it's like, you know, and, and it's like the whole, I'm still trying to figure out how. That that six year old that did that shot his teacher and everything. He kept saying that he was going to do stuff. He and all the and, and pe people were going to the to the, the uh you know the administrative staff and telling them what was going on. And it's like that kept getting swept under the rug, you know. And from what I understand. That kid was supposed to have, um, because of his behavior and stuff, he was supposed to have someone with him, you know, um, at all times. He could not be at the school without a guardian. I think it was a guardian, a litem, or whatever. Um, 
to, you know, because of his behavior. And he, I mean, they even, the teachers, I mean, like, they knew that someone knew that he had that in his bag. And I, they alerted people and it just got swept under the rug. You know, it got, it says, oh, we'll, do, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. You know, and I'm like, first off, okay, I know the mother had the gun legally, but how did this, how did this child get, this six-year-old child get hold of it, for one? For two, how did a six-year-old even know how to load a gun? So, I'm thinking the gun was already loaded. That's a big red flag. You know, um, you know, so if, if there's a lot that goes in that stems back to the parent on this one, I'm, you know, and it's, I know it's very controversial, but I'm like, how do you not know your child knows how to get hold of your gun? Why is your gun not locked up somewhere where they cannot find it? They cannot figure out how to get into the lock. You know, I'm like, yeah, there's just, there's just some, something is not kosher about how, how that child got hold of that gun. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just my feelings. You know, I know everybody else could see it differently, you know, but that's just how I'm feeling. But it's sad when, <laughs> huh? Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if you could call it in ahead of time or not. Um, where you were down to, you know, down to the seven. I just didn't know how, you know, when you could call it. Oh, we also need to look about getting you a phone charger, too, don't we? A phone wire. We should be able to get you one. But you said it wasn't. Well, we'll look and see what they got down there because... Yeah, 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 I know that, I know that. Yeah, go ahead and put that aside, yeah. Because we were only basically going down for the batteries and that anyway, I think. I think that's why we wanted to go to the store anyway. Was to... No, I'm saying that's all I can remember. You were saying you wanted to go. That's all I can remember we were going for is your charger for your phone and then you we said the batteries i'm like i can't remember anything else is what i'm saying <laughs> we could have said we wanted this 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 and this and i don't remember <laughs> oh no alex he was supposed to have um a um uh, somebody with him at all times because of his issue, his anger issues and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, so he was not supposed to be at that school by himself um, without whoever was supposed to be there. Um, but somehow he was there that day. No one was with, with him and he had this gun. And he told the teacher, he had told the teacher, I think several times he was going to shoot her uh, or unalive her or whatever they want to call it. Because um, I know some um, some apps will not let you say kill or whatever. 
um, or murder. Um, so they, 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 I mean, like I say, he was being, they were being, be, being, he was being reported about it. <laughs> I always have CRS uh, sparkles. <sighs> Believe me, I have had CRS for years. <laughs> and yeah, it's at the point, if me and mom don't write it down, we totally, it's like, it's gone. <laughs> um, I think we walked around the store one day for an hour. Trying to, we knew there was something we wanted or something we needed. Couldn't figure it out. Got home, and that's when we remembered what it was. Or we were halfway home and remembered what it was. Um, you know, so I need to be careful. It's one of those situations. But yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I don't understand either, Alex. I mean, I was the same way, but nowadays, I mean, that's the first thing these kids think. They, they you know, they 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 want to shoot somebody or kill, you know, stab somebody or beat the crap out of them. It's sad. It, it, it's really sad that, that the society is like that these days. But it is what it is. And, you know, we just have to... Pray that things change in the world, but it doesn't seem like it is. And then this whole that 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 balloon that was going across from China or wherever it was. I I can't believe they shot that son of a bitch down over over Myrtle Beach. I mean they let it get all the way across the United States over the Atlantic Ocean before they shoot the son of a bitch down. I would have shot it down over the prairies of Montana or somewhere before then. I'm like, Do you let it go that far. So that went across the whole United States. And let's uh, see, Myrtle. Alexa, how far is Chrisville, Maryland from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina? Or North Carolina? From Tripster.com, distance from Myrtle Beach, one hour and 31 minutes by car, 77 miles. I'm only like 77. I gotta be farther than 77 miles from Jamie Christmas. So that sucker could have came over top of, of Maryland. I mean, come on now, I'm only Alexa. How far is it from Chrisfield to Washington, DC? From Crisfield, Washington is 156.4 miles away by car. Well, that came out wrong. Alexa, how far is it from Crisfield, Maryland to Washington, D.C.? From Crisfield, Washington is 156.4 miles away by car. Okay. Alexa, how many hours from Crisfield, Maryland to Washington, D.C.? From Crisfield. To drive to Washington, based on current traffic, it'll take about three hours and 19 minutes. Wow, Bay Bridge must be flowing. <laughs> no backups on the bridge. If it take about three, hour, three hours and 19 minutes.
Huh. Okay. So yeah, so they came towards DC. Wow. I'm like, you know, you let it get all the way over freaking Myrtle Beach before you decide to shoot the sucker down. I'm like, it shouldn't even come across Alaska. It should not even come across Alaska. Uh, well, guys, I'm getting ready to wrap this up in a minute or two anyway, so we can go to the store. But, yeah, that balloon shouldn't even come across Alaska. I'm sorry. It should have been shot down over over the Barren Sea. The, the Barren, well, not the Barren Street. The, um... Uh, but how did it even uh, okay truthfully where it was it was sent up from or are, are they 100 sure it was even from the chinese or is it just a weather balloon i'm sorry that's what it resembled to me it resembled a freaking weather balloon oh see i didn't know that sparkles Oh, so it flew over every nuclear installation base we have in the United States. Okay, yeah, all right. And they waited that long to shoot the sucker down. See, that's my, that... That's my problem with the whole thing. If it's if they knew that's what it was doing, why wasn't it shot? It, I'm still saying, like I said, it should have never made it across over top of Alaska. It should have never even made it into U.S. territory. <sighs> See, that just angers me now, knowing that. <laughs> And it's kind of scary, too, so. Alexa, what is the closest nuclear installation to Maryland? The nearest store is Clear Horizon Septic Design and Installation, 217.5. Oh, Alexa, away. shut up! She totally missed that. Wow. That's all I'm going to say on that is, wow. I mean, because, let's see, we got, we got a couple, um, let's see, we got the Naval Academy, uh, we got a couple of Naval Base, um, we got Norfolk, we got Naval Base in Norfolk, um, I know we got some Army, Army installation around here. But, yeah, that's just... That's just scary to know that that's what that balloon was doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sparkles. As a person that knows our president... Because he was friends with friends of a family member, we a, a friend of our our family, and I know of him through that. He's a good person, but as for president was, I thought he was until he's gone off the rails. You know, but, um, but as for him as a president, yeah, he, I am starting to really believe that, um, sparkles. And the only reason I say this is because I've actually seen that with family, a family member in my family. 
But I am starting to do you believe he is in the early stages of Alzheimer's dementia. Especially when in Delaware, when he went back to, which house was it? Um, the house of Rehoboth? Um, and he was riding the bike and he stops the bike but forgets to take his foot out of the the lock on the pedal and just tips over and does not know how he tipped over. He said, I don't even know how I tipped over. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've actually seen, was thinking because of the way he he's, I mean, it, yeah, you okay. Once or twice forgetting something like a, a major, I mean, something you shouldn't, you know, but this, it was just the stutter, stutter, stutter. So, but anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a sad way for a person's mind to have to go like that though, too. But anywho, I am at the two hour mark now, y'all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here. Um, I may do a live stream when I get back home. I don't know. But until then, if not, I will catch everybody tomorrow. Everybody have a good day. Catch y'all later. Peace.